Hello, engineers, and welcome to the existing Moses users, and I hope this is attracting new Moses users. My name is Georgina Maldonado, and we today we are going to be talking about installing Moses. Now, this video is part of a series of videos aimed at showing you how to use Moses as your engineering tool for your offshore analysis. Let's get started on showing you how to install Moses. We are, have made the assumption that you have downloaded the correct installation file from the Bentley website. That's what we have here. That's This is the Moses button, and this is the installation, the installation uh, file. And you can see if we do properties, it's for version 12.02.00.30. Okay, so that's the one I will be installing. Okay, so I'm going to double click, and we are going to see that it, the first thing that comes up is the licensing. So licensing is going to come up as a pop-up window. So this is the Moses Connect version, and this is the end user agreement. So you can read it. Okay, it won't let you proceed unless you click I agree to the license terms and conditions. So you see, so now I can hit the install button. Okay, so when you hit the install button, we do it starts, but then because of safety reasons, security reasons, we get this message from Windows. Do you want this application to change your device? I do want it to change my device. So I'm going to hit yes. And you'll see that in this other window, we're going to start to see that green bar. It's going to start going from the left side to the right side. So it's going to do that. It's doing a lot of stuff in the background. It's trying to make sure you have space. It's trying to see what um, other applications you might have that it uh, might, might already need. It is trying to figure out some things. And that's why it is taking a little bit of time. Now it's going to do this for a little while and then it's going to come up with another window. So you see it does still tell you that the setup is in progress. It's still setting up and it will pop up another window. Now on my machine it's going to pop it up on my other screen so I'm going to have to drag it over. Okay so here is what it brought up. So this is the Moses Connect Edition again version 12 and so it says, are you ready to install? Okay, so click next to continue. So I'm gonna click next. Okay, so now this is the default place where it's going to install it. So it's gonna put it under your program files, Bentley Engineering, Moses Connect Edition version 12. Okay, I'm gonna hit next. And then click install to begin the installation. So here's where things actually start getting written to your computer. Okay, so you're, again, you're gonna see the green bar going from the left to the right. And while this is working, I wanna tell you that I picked the defaults, of course, according to maybe your computer IT group, you, you might want to change that. L later on, you might want to send us a question. Sometimes we refer to this installation directory. So just keep that in mind. If you're installing it someplace else, when we make references to it, you're gonna have to substitute the place where yours is installed. Okay, so now it is, uh, it tells you, please wait while the setup wizard installs Moses. And you see here, we got to the end, display release notes. So now here we're gonna hit finish. And it displayed our, here's the release notes I've displayed. Please take time to read them compatibility with previous versions and later on you know we tell you some enhancements we tell you um, some some fixed defects so it, it is at least worth a, a read the first time you start it and here we're back to the installation successfully completed message so I'm going to go ahead and close it and that's going to conclude the installation of Moses. In the next video, we're actually going to do a simple analysis and I'm going to show you how to interact with Moses. So please keep watching. Thank you.